Hello everyone, welcome to this week's bonus video. We are making marukuchi or Lithuanian Easter eggs. Um, we will be making our own dye for the eggs. So for the blue one, start off with the red cabbage, shred it and put it in a pot. Pour one litre of water on, add one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of vinegar. So that's what I'm doing now. red dye or like a brownish red um, chop up four beetroot and add another litre of water a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of vinegar of water, one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of vinegar and about four to five tablespoons of turmeric powder and heat it all together. Also for the other dyes just put them on a high heat and boil them for about 30 minutes. the actual eggs. Um, I'm sorry the angle is not the greatest but um, I only inserted the clips that showed the best. Um, hard boil the eggs first um, and whilst they're still warm but not too hot and not too cold use a nail on some sort of pencil. Um, what my grandma used to do just put a nail in the end of the pencil rubber thing and just use that to apply melted beeswax onto the egg. Just draw little flowers or suns or whatever patterns. The easiest way is to use lines and dots and just create patterns using that. If your egg is too warm, the wax will just melt off and you won't get a nice um, thin line and you won't get a nice pattern. you're done all of the eggs and um, put them in the dye obviously the dye has to be strained first you don't want bits of um, cabbage and bits of um, beetroot floating around and just put the eggs in the dye and leave them there overnight or for a day or for however long you want them to be there for mm -hmm. 
to remove the wax just um, hold it above the candle and melt it off and wipe it with the tissue as I'm doing here now. This is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you come back tomorrow for an actual video, another recipe. I'll be cooking vegetarian burgers tomorrow. So happy Easter and a happy egg painting. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at cookwithagni and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.